you can tell from uh, my short history, career history, that I've been a junk of all trades. I don't know whether I've been a master. I've been in telecoms, I've been in uh, utility, power and uh, water, I've been in industry, now at the airline. So I think, I think the, the magic is the same. Uh, it's about uh, hard work, focus, uh, just knowing the right things to do and knowing that it's all about the bottom line, it's about growth, it's about uh, making a difference. It doesn't matter where you're sitting, whether it's in a nuclear company or in a, a, food, a food or beverages company or fast moving goods, it doesn't matter. I think the, the methodology is the same. It comes back to uh, the focus that one applies. From a Rwandan perspective, I, can, I could say with confidence that uh, fares over the years have come down. The last close to five years that I've been around, I've seen fares in the region get to about half where they are today. Yes, I understand that we need to come even lower, but again, we have certain constraints on the continent, i.e. Uh, airport taxes, other fees and duties that are levied by uh, the governments where we fly. And this is very typical of the continent. So flying is still going to be a bit more expensive on the continent than elsewhere because of all the other constraints that uh, are beyond what the airlines charge. So basically, it can never be blamed on the airlines uh, entirely. Uh, part of what we charge today goes to the airport authorities, the government, form of fees, flying, overflight, landing, name it. So it's going to be a bit uh, expensive for some time. We've only been in operation probably five years as one day. Uh, we we uh, took a, a conscious decision to focus first on opening up Rwanda, making Rwanda accessible to the rest of the world so that we could attract business, tourism, conferences, name it, so that we, we, we support the, the service and hub concept that government is, is creating for the country. So this is something we're already working on. We are already talking to suppliers of planes. We are looking at a business concept, a cargo business concept that would work for us. But as of now, we're cooperating with some like-minded airlines like Ethiopian. And uh, once, once we have need, we are already we are always able to, to put together uh, a cargo a cargo freighter to take whatever the Rwandan community wants to export. Yes, with confidence, yes. But again, and remember, those companies have been here for more than 50 years. Mm -hmm. We are barely five years in the business. We are still at a phase where we're still investing and growing, we're expanding, as you've been saying. All that requires a lot of cash and uh, other resources, which will only start to return in due course. So we are not yet at that point. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a little story blown out of proportions, I would say. I mean, in, in, our, in our scheme of things, what is $30,000 worth? It's very little. It's not supposed to be stolen by anybody, but it's not something that should have attracted any attention except that uh, somebody chose to. But again, in terms of where we are today, one, the culprits have been apprehended and handed over to police. They are going through a court process. Uh, it wouldn't be in order for me to discuss the, some of the facts of the case, especially that it's sub-judice. But uh, on our part as an organization, we have also learned a lesson that we need to tighten some of our controls. So we've sat through that process and uh, basically tried to streamline and uh, tighten wherever we have to so that it never happens again. One of them is, uh, is, is that level of consistency. I mean, I've been waking up at 5.30 every day of my life 
for the last probably 15 years and doing the same thing. I always joke about it. If anybody wanted to hurt me, it's very easy. You know where I'll be at exactly 5.30. Uh, so uh, that is one. But two is I'm a team player. I believe in everybody around me. I believe in the power and capacity that uh, pe good people bring to the, to the party. Uh, I believe in empowerment. I believe in uh, delegation. I believe in letting everybody blow up, I mean, blossom to their fullest. I've always believed that, uh, you see, poverty or wealth starts in one's mind. If you're focused, you know exactly, first of all, you just, you start with a blank paper. You draw, imagine, and draw what you want to be or how you want to succeed. Whatever you put there, as soon as you focus on it, you will get there and surpass it in no time. So just keep focused, uh, stop jumping from one pole to the other, because that is already energy wasted. So for as long as one is focused and hardworking, you can never fail to succeed.